Good morning everyone, so tired from the weekend. Just got back to the city after the endurance race and the Miata spec race. It is Tuesday today and Joey and I are getting ready to do a shoot for Tatler magazine. And then uh, yeah, we're just gonna jump into the EV vehicle that I'm going to be reviewing, but I'm gonna save that for another vlog. Today is just about me and Joey doing the Tatler shoot and then just enjoying ourselves with the team that Tatler has put up for us. We're gonna be going to the Shangri-La ballroom in and BGC and then hopefully we're gonna be done soon by like after lunch and stuff we have BJ as our photographer and I'm super excited because I've never worked with BJ before as a photographer obviously we've done some events before and I've seen him in some of the stuff that we were invited to so Joey's just getting showered I washed my hair already hopefully we'll be on the road in a bit and yeah the EV vehicle lots to say about that and I'll save that for the other vlog Holding this with a wonky right arm. How do you vloggers do? You vloggers must have good arm strength. To be a vlogger, you must make sure you work out your arm. Yes, you need shoulder arm strength to be a vlogger because you're holding the camera out all the time. You're holding it out and like talking, like, "Hey, what's up? This is what I'm doing." And, and you're holding a and trying big not to ass look, camera. Look at the screen. Always try to look. at the yeah, because you always tend to check yourself yeah. out. So yeah. your eyes start. Yeah. Which not keeping like, in touch with your audience. I'm holding this for a few seconds and my arm's giving way. But you know, I fell off a horse, so. It's good exercise. Ow, I use my left arm. And it's also, I think it's unflattering. It's unflattering to hold These the camera. angles that you guys do. We're finally on the way to Shangri-La BGC. We're running a tad late, but we're super close by. It's 7.08, so we're gonna make the team wait for about another five minutes. So far, first impression of this car, quiet eerily quiet. You can hear a fan in front and the whining sound. I guess that's the sound of the future. It's just a whining sound. Joey actually said like, is it like a golf cart? And yep, it's very like much a golf cart. like a golf cart. Ride is okay, but today we're not in our best modes or best shape. <laughs> I've, I've we're heard... not in our best physical shape or mental we're good, but physical we're feeling a bit rough today. I've had a really <laughs> rough sleep, worse than even the race sleep. So I woke up at 3 a.m. thinking like it's 4 a.m. ready and like nothing. I couldn't sleep anymore. So I have eye bags, which is not the best. Thank God for a foundation and Pia. Pia is our makeup artist for today. Yes. And then obviously Jo has her own challenges today. Yes. Supposed to be feeling flexible. But that's why we have our PT coming on set today. Because that's what happens when you're in your 40s. I've never thought... What's that sound? It's the parking sensor. How do we turn it off? Stress you out, does it? It may be quiet, but the sensor stress you out. Oh my god. Does that have Netflix? <laughs> I don't know how to turn it off. No, it doesn't have Netflix. <laughs> It'd be kind of cool if it had Netflix. Okay, where were we before we were rudely interrupted by the car? We were complaining we've never about had, our shoot. We've never had a PT on shoot. This is a first for me. Definitely a first for me. So you know that's what happens when you're in your 40s. You yes. need your PT on set. Just to make sure you're able to move without breaking shit. Or PT who's <laughs> going to bring a massage table for us. Um, but it is our first time working with Tatler and we want to thank Anton for thinking of us. Um, I think we were supposed to do the Pride cover but now it's August so it's going to be the in inclusivity. So who the hell got pride? I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> we're like pride plus cover. <laughs> pride extra. It's like we're not done with pride. We're gonna carry it on onto August and this is us. But it'll be fun. It's something that Ange and I haven't done which in a while. Yeah. Our last cover shoot was the... For Metro Body. Yeah, make sure you guys check out that vlog somewhere here. The style of shoot that they visualize is just a lot of movement and stuff that I used to do. So it's Resurrection Joey 2015. I know. But for us to do it together will be... Different. Will be interesting. Yes. A lot of the Cirque du Soleil contouring. And yoga couple goals. And Joey's shoulder doesn't work because she fell I know, off I'm horse. dying now holding this big ass camera. Okay, we'll put the camera down and then we'll update <laughs> you guys again when we get to the shang. Okay. 
As humongous this screen looks, it's a 15.6 inch screen, there is no Apple CarPlay, there is no navigation, it's just a big tablet which probably sucks up too much power. <laughs> Oh yeah, there's a built-in camera over here, so it, it's perfect for eyesight that's failing. It's great for me. Thank you. Self-parking. I wish these the cars parked themselves. <laughs> Whee! It's cold already. Are we going the right way? I love the hair. <laughs> this is my first actual professional makeup in two and a half years, almost three. Why have you retired now? Yeah. Full time horse whisperer. <laughs> I'm a pony yaya. No. <laughs> pony yaya. I'm pony yaya. Wanna be dressage equestrian. <laughs> but really pony yaya. <laughs> the truth is, yeah. <laughs> Look for the ID photo. <laughs> Let's just see through. I don't want to know. <laughs> just tell me if anything's falling out. Joe, the mapas you know. Caps more, boobs more. Just sabihin mo lang, please. <laughs> understand what was lacking in my growth, in my humanness. Right. So during, given all that, during Angie's transition, how did that affect you? Not only as, as a partner, but also like as a friend or as confident? A, uh, as a, I think just as a citizen of the world. Right. Citizen of the world. Me in this current timeline is human. <laughs> and being living my timeline as a partner spouse connected to the chosen human being in my life. I, I'm just so in awe of how this has panned out for me in my journey. To think that if we cut it up to so stuck in the roadblocks of having to categorize um, titles and gender roles as well as most of because this was this was the this was the programming this was the upbringing. I had 
subliminal messaging. Mm. And to sh to shed that and to become like like to break the boundaries of what societal norms was was mind blowing. And uh, I just felt so gifted that I have this opportunity to live my life with Ange. In such a way, we have no gender role. We live our life with, we don't have um, dialogue where we say, because you're such a girl. Mm -hmm. All you do, stop crying because it's such a girl thing. Or like, do this because you're the guy. Mm. You don't have this dialogue. Don't understand the car parts, but I'll do my best. <laughs> we are ending finally. It is 5 p.m. We just finished our interview. Thank you so much. Bye, Angie. Bye. What a treat. Thank Thanks you. so much. Thank you for the patience. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Bye. And your modeling. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. What's this back injury? And he goes, I think I fixed it. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Andrew. You guys are so you fantastic. You the shit out of me outside. Is it painful? I'm no. sure all the staff outside are like, why is there a massage bed <laughs> out here? No, Francis is really amazing. It's been such a long day. It's already 5 p.m. We got here at 7.30 in the morning and literally a full, full day. Thank God that BJ cut our layouts down to just three layouts. We also finished the interview already so that that's done. Um, we did enjoy ourselves. It was a very challenging shoot and uh, we'll recap more in the car when we get downstairs. All right, guys. What do you think, honey? I am so happy that we are done today because that was a lot of creative hard work. And we're super proud because this is the first female-female yeah. pride cover yeah. for Tatler. It's so awesome. Amazing team we worked with today. So super, good. super talented team. And we're so lucky that they cut the layouts down to three layouts. Anyway, uh, we're probably going to end this vlog. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this content. We haven't done this in a while. And we kind of remember why we don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have four or five layers of makeup on my face. <laughs> Pia, I'm going to need to take a grinder and chip yeah. everything yeah, off. Yeah, I need a chisel. Oh my god. But thank you so much to the team. Thank you so much to uh, Anton for arranging all of yeah. this. It was truly a great experience and very memorable and we hope the story that we're sharing to you guys on the magazine reaches a wider audience. So hope you guys enjoyed this content. We will see you again in the next video.